Hello my friends and welcome back to my part 3 of my backyard where I am finally going to be finalizing this backyard and getting it summer ready and turning it into my own little oasis. If you are here for some backyard inspiration then I got some beautiful before and after transformation and without any further ado let's go ahead and enjoy this together. Good morning and welcome back to another day here and another video. Today's video, we are going to finalize the backyard. I have a lot of plants that I've been collecting the last couple of weeks, days that I haven't planted them yet. I also haven't planted all of my vegetables and I haven't set up the gazebo yet. So today I'm going to start with planting all this first because the way the sun is that it's already coming this way on the backyard. So if you look at it, the sun just slowly comes. So before the sun moves and takes over the entire backyard, I'm going to quickly plant all these plants here. Things are looking very nice with this one here. All my flower seeds that I put around is already growing. This dude here, she kind of died coming back alive which is fine she's doing way much better in the outdoor i think my strawberries are like slowly this from the seeds i can see the the leaves coming that is the mint it had to adopt to the outdoor first and now i feel like it's finally starting to grow back then i have my uh what is this callias yeah this was a callias i had in the indoor and it changes color in the indoor it becomes lavender but I'm going to trim some to make more because I eventually want to make like a big full pot. And my salvia. Oh, it is the most beautiful thing here. I just love it. So everything is looking fine there. This box is extremely dirty. It's empty. It's what we keep in the indoor here. The last time I conditioned all the furniture, we left it like this. And to be honest, it's been like almost two weeks since this situation has just been like this. So my plan today is I'm going to be potting all this. As you saw my front yard uh, video, I have already potted like a couple of these in the front yard. So I'm going to be taking a couple of more and I need to figure out how I'm going to plant them. I already have my pots out. I bought this new stand from Home Depot the other day. And I don't know how I'm going to figure this out, but... It'll be all figured out. And then, as you can see, last time too, when I cleaned, a couple of them already already coming out. That's because I have not put the sand. So today, I'm going to be quickly cleaning. Probably not even going to do it in video. But I'm going to clean here. I already put the uh, sand dust on or the stone dust already on that side. But not all of it because I did not have enough. I kind of did it on this side. So all furnitures are going to get washed up before they do. I'm going to move everything here, sand dust, everything. That will be later. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and plant all this. I bought so many new ones. I've got here. I have a pepper here. Um, it's a red pepper. I have green pepper, bell pepper. I've got yellow pepper here, which is sweet pepper. And then I love this. I bought this late last summer. I don't know what it's called. Rio Red. I think that's what it's called. It is the most beautiful plant ever. And it's going to go in that pot. Because I love the way that it like falls. So I brought my big pot out. The Autumn Joys are doing amazing. Imagine the last time you all see this was so tiny. Look how big they are. Except that this one I feel like I didn't like center it. <laughs> but yeah. And then I got me a lemongrass because I like to keep the lemongrass inside the gazebo to kind of like act like a mosquito repellent. So we don't have a lot of mosquitoes inside the gazebo. I got one tomato steak. It's called the uh, beef steak uh, tomato. And then here I have another, oh, I have a chili peppers. And then over here I've got another bell pepper. So I'm going to plant all these things today. Because unfortunately right now time is running out and I need to do this while we are still in May. I don't remember what I planted here. I thought it was a cilantro, but something is slowly coming inside. 
And I don't know if what is coming is like those clove weed or if something is going. No clue. And I also had some seed here. Oh, something is growing. Okay, okay. One of them I had cilantro and the other one I forgot what I had. I have to look back at the video. It's too bad. I didn't label them and I think I had all the papers in there. And I add, kept on adding like soil trash and yeah. And then the dahlia, I deheaded. I see fresh girls coming through here. This girl, she just likes to be in the sun, so I leave her. But y'all, look at this. I think this is called snowfall. I did not plant anything here. This is all from last year. I love this. This actually got rotten by grubs and then I took it out, completely including the root. But somehow... Somehow, I don't know how, it's spread. It's spread and it's just glowing so big and so beautiful. And then on this side, I have a thyme and the thyme is already growing. I'm probably going to clip like some of these dead branches here. And then what I'm going to do on this one is add something else here. I don't know what I want to add, but I feel like Maybe I'll add like one of my callias over there. The small callias. Probably add here just to give it another color. All right, let's get to work. We're going to quickly jump start and I just wanted to share today's sponsor, which is Kuntis. Kuntis actually did sponsor me in my last year's backyard. And this year I reached out to them because I absolutely love their solar lights, especially their outdoor solar lights. And most of their lights, you can also use them in the indoor too. They have so many LED and solar lights, especially for the outdoor. If you are looking one, I would highly recommend to go visit Kuntis, especially go see their store. They have way more things than they actually have in Amazon. And so I am going to be sharing a four pack solar lights here. These are the Pro Solar Light Outdoor. They are waterproofs, 26 plus one LED. They are three warm lighting modes they come in and they are actually two in one adjustable to solar light. You can use them for your landscape, for your walkway yard, garden driveway. I'm going to be using two of them in the garden. They also have extendable rods um, that you can extend them to intensify the spot range, which, for example, like at nighttime, if you want the spot range to go wider, then you can extend them like this here and use that extra pose that they come with. But in my case, I'm going to be using them in my garden. So I'm just going to use the shorter version. What I also like about this is that they are waterproof heat resistance, frost resistant. I'm hoping we're not going to have any more frost. And they also have auto on at nighttime and auto off at dawn with only 22% of charging rate. This is great. It's amazing. So I'm so, so grateful to have this newest outdoor solar lights in my backyard. I'm going to install them. So what I'm doing here is I'm just trying them on this side where I'm putting them on the back side and then on this area I'm putting them in the front and I'm gonna face them towards the garden so that at night when it's lighting it's lighting directly at the plants y'all wait till I show you the night vision of it they are so beautiful especially when they intensify um what do you call it uh, the range the spot range and it literally has like a little circle spot range so i will have all the information down below if you guys want to go check it out they do have packs of two packs of four packs of six and i also have the other ones that i used last year which are on the back fence of of my backyard here and i'll show you guys in a bit what i love about this the ones i have they are actually motion sensors. So like if no one is in the backyard right here, they go off. And when you come into the backyard, they go on. I will have all the lights linked down below. Definitely go check them out. They have huge sale also going on right now in Amazon. Thank you. Thank you so much to Quintus for sponsoring today's video. And what I'm going to do is that right after here, I'll show you guys a quick clip here. Look at this at nighttime. I just absolutely 
love the spot range. Look at those little circles. It looks like you're in a disco. So yeah, after here, we're going to start planting all the plants and I'm going to give you guys a little details and I cannot wait to show you the overall look of the backyard. Thank you again so much to Kentis for sponsoring today's video. And you guys, thank you so much for also giving me this opportunity to share with you guys as well. I bought this pot from HomeSense last year. I loved it so much. I actually used it a palm tree, which was doing amazing until I brought it inside in the fall. And I bought a soil from Walmart in the fall and then, then I changed the soil. But I think that soil from Walmart was contaminated because it had a lot of millipedes, which then I had and I ended up having infestation. So I had to get rid of the entire palm tree and got rid of all the soil. So this year I wanted to try out this Rio. I got the white, uh, uh, white, white, ugh, I can't even say white Rio, which is this one here. I think this is called Rio Red. I had the white version last year around late summer and I did so well. So I was like, I'm going to try the red one. The pot is white and this is red. And in just about a month, we have Canada Day coming and I want this to be nice and big. So what I'm also going to do is that just to fill the pot, I'm also adding this orange salvias. And there's also like a, I think it comes in red salvia as well. And then I have another one. It's called salsia, something like that. It's like the salvia. So then now what I'm doing is that this big pot here, I had it from last year. I think I had a bunch of different plants here. At some point, I even had the palm tree. Then I switched it to the big white pot. But I, I was using this pot to con like to use for uh, to contain all the dirt and all the garbage. So now I'm just taking all the dirty soil out and just cleaning it. And then I'm gonna add fresh soil because because I'm gonna take these two impatience and plant them here. And by the time you guys see at the end of the video, it's been like nearly two weeks later because that's when i came out and just kind of finalized everything like i said this took over the month over the course of a month you can't do everything all in one day it was just a little bit off uh, each day and so this impatience became so big i had originally in my previous video planted them on each on each this pod i apologize i don't even feel like i can speak normal today but i I remember last year the impatience became so big and I was like you know what I'm going to take them out of these pots and put them both in this larger pot because they're gonna get large and then I just added one more orange salvia just to kind of add more colors and so I'm gonna continue on here and then here I'm just using one of each of these two flowers I had the white one last year and so I bought the red one this year so I could have the red and white. And like I said, Canada Day will be coming soon. So I wanted to have a lot of red and white flowers as well. And here I have three small pot sets that came together. It actually came with another set with a taller pot. But I'm just using this lemongrass and then two of the salvia on the other two smaller pots. And they all go together as a set. And then I'm using them inside the gazebo as a mosquito repellent. Bury yourself beneath the stone. So last time I kind of cleaned around in between the rocks, but because it's been like two weeks, obviously something started to grow, especially where there is more water hitting. So I quickly digged some of the uh, moss and wheat growing. Uh, and I also didn't really do much on this side last time. So I quickly did here. I'm just gonna cut quickly sweep. And then I'm going to bring all that to the corner here because I gotta take all this furniture to the corner so that I can sand here, wet it, lay those deck tiles. It's gonna probably take me a couple of days. I don't know. We'll see how much I can do today, but I brought some of these all here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I feel like this year I have so many more flowers and I just love it. Let me take a breath. Let me be a part of Obviously, a lot of these ladies here are animals, but it's okay. I'm gonna love them for the time being. 
and I have one last plant here just to plant it in this area this section I already had the hole I just had the fabric cover on top of it so all I had to do was just cut the fabric and just insert this plant in and this is per perennial all this area all the plants I have are perennial so they do come back again each year and I love it and I was looking for something that's gonna turn into very bush but also provide lots of color and this does have lots of beautiful red flowers when eventually it gets bigger obviously <laughs> Before I lay our faux deck tiles, I'm just gonna quickly here spray the weed uh, repellent. There were some areas that where there was weed growing through the stone, so I'm just spraying them. Then I'm going to la uh, lay the uh, sand dust. This way it seals all the stones and then we're gonna water it and let it sit. And then it's gonna be the following day that I come out and we're gonna do the faux tiles. Would lie to you, didn't matter what I do. She's got a hold on me She knows how to drive a truck But she lets me pick her up When we're going dancing My heart stops beating When my headlights shining on her She's my country girl I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me She's so damn out of my league She's a little bit crazy on the right now because the sun is already reached to here um, I'm having the boys bring the deck tiles that's why I started on this side it's all sealed I have all the sided sealed and then what I do is that I just wet it to just like sink all the sand and seal it and then let the sun dry all this area and then I'll just kind of sweep if there's any excess once it's all settled and then we're gonna bring the deck tiles here and I'm going to rinse them and I'm also going to go ahead and rinse all this right now as well. And the girls were starting to become droopy because as soon as the sun hit them, they were like, uh, yeah. And the impatience there, they can't do the sun. I don't know why. They don't like full sun. So it was hitting them. But right now, they're fine. Water them. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly clean this stuff. Would lie to you, didn't matter what I do. She lets me pick her up when we're going dancing. My heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her. So I have the furniture all rinsed and washed. I thought I pressed record, but I didn't. But it's okay. Nothing interesting to see. But I rinsed them all. Since the last time I conditioned, I didn't clean them at all. So there was so much built up pollens. And so now I'm going to take a break, go inside and have a meal because I haven't eaten in a while. And yeah, I'm just going to let all this dry up. I figured I'm going to go ahead and rinse the windows as well. So I'm just going to go in and I'll be back. 
And this was later in the afternoon. So now I have these containers. They do come in three sets. They are from Home Depot. And I usually uh, put my garden here. When I first got them a couple of years ago, I had tomatoes here and some peppers. This was before my backyard was done at all. So I haven't used these containers in a while. But because I have planted the different vegetables like zucchini and squash and cucumbers on the garden area where I usually would have these things there because I'm trying new things. So I'm going to put my pepper in here but honestly a lot of these things are just in the moment and as the garden grows throughout the summer obviously some things I'm gonna change them and put them in a different container plus I'm also waiting a uh, raised bed garden that haven't came yet because it's been out of stock for so long so I'm just working with it for the time being whatever I have and so now I've swept quickly and we're gonna go ahead and lay the deck tiles and get all the furniture and get this area prop and primped up. Headlights on the highway If you only knew Being back here Always makes me think of you Although I cleaned all the furniture and that whole area, now it's going to get dirty again because we got to push everything to the under the gazebo so that I can lay more sand dust to this side of the stone as well. I'm so quiet this time of year With the road ahead coming back again, coming back to me
And at this point, the sun was slowly starting to go down, but at least we accomplished the hardest part. So we're just going to let this area dry and overnight. And then the next day, we're going to pick up. But here is what it looked like later on in the evening when the sun was down. I did bring one of the white plants with the white flowers right here. And then we had some of these lights, uh, the solar lights from Costco last year. And I brought them here and I love how everything looks. And now we're going to move over to the next morning and pick up where we left. This California weather, it's like 90 degrees. It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me. It's just something about the way that he's making me feel. My insides are out. I just want to shout his name. Oh. Up on me. Got this patio storage box from Amazon last year and I love it because not only is it a small and perfect for the inside the gazebo but we do use it to keep like small things and things that we don't want to keep at night time whenever we're going inside or like extra pillows and extra blankets. While everything is drying up, I'm gonna lay this uh, outdoor straw rug that we got from Costco. It was only for $19.99. I got one last year too that's gray and like light and dark gray. What I also like about this rugs is that they are reversible. So this side is more black and a little bit of white. Whereas the other side, if I flip it over, it's more white and a little bit black. And this year I'm going with a little bit of more black and white theme. So I'm using the more black version on the top part. And now Sean and I are just going to set up and put everything and it is time to make it look pretty. Uh, my body's giving up on me because I don't know what to do with my fingertips. Uh, I want to run through his hair, but don't stare. I get a little starstruck when I see him. I couldn't hit him. Making me hot and he has the same effect on me I act a little dumber when I try to get his number I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip on myself I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried Am I a little crazy to believe that I could wake up with him by my side I know I could get his attention if I worked it all out And we got a little tipsy on a Saturday night Yeah, I want him And yes, I believe details do matter sometimes, although I don't really need to add this lamp here. It is very rustic. I don't really need it. It is outdoor. You know what? Details matter sometimes. So I'm adding some, um, what are they called, citronella candles. I got this from the dollar store. So I just added three and I closed the door because they do have a whole like a vent on the top where the smoke can come out. It was just so cozy. Wait till I show you the final look. Everything is back in its place. Mind you, I'll probably move around everything, but we'll definitely do like a mid-summer decorating once all the garden, all the flowers have taken off. And I'm just ar um, adding this ring toss here for my son. He loves playing in the backyard, especially when we're hanging out here. Just add a couple of little things. But let me give you guys a quick tour. I hope y'all got lots of inspiration motivation whatever it is there was a lot of cleaning i absolutely love this small space that we created for our family we worked so hard honestly sean and i worked hard every summer we 
make sure that you know we get everything set up and it is a learning for us too we are a beginner with the garden and it's going well alhamdulillah i'm so grateful to our own little space but mostly i'm so thankful to have you guys here with me and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please subscribe don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up if you all enjoyed it leave me a comment let me know what you enjoyed today's video the most and what do you like or maybe if you have any ideas as well and thank you again to contest for sponsoring today's video don't forget to check them out and i'll see you guys on my next one and i promise you you guys will like next saturday's video because not only am I going to chat, but we're going to get a little bit personal. Bye, y'all. You are not 